Hey guys, I figured it was about time to do an updated skincare routine because it's been a while since my last one and also I've changed a lot. So I pretty much got hooked on a Cure skincare a few months ago and they have they have just been amazing. I am so stoked on how they've worked for my skin, so I really wanted to share them with you guys too and let you know about them. So basically they're vegan, sulfate free, cruelty free, paraben free, uh, petroleum free, silicone free, gluten free, and they won't clog pores. So basically there's like a whole long list of um, awesomeness about them and they have fantastic ingredients as well. So um, the first product, I guess I will go ahead and start here. We're gonna start with kind of like what I start with in my regimen and then go down through and I'll tell you kind of like the other little products that I use too. Um, so this is the Acure Facial Cleanser Cleansing Gel with Superfruit and Chlorella Growth Factor uh, for combo to oily skin. I like this a lot because it doesn't over dry my skin. That's like one of the main factors I look for in a good natural um, you know, facial cleanser. A lot of them tend to over dry my skin and that's not good either. You wanna find a, one that balances your skin just right. So you wanna remove all that oil and dirt. You want your skin to feel fresh and clean, but you don't want it stripped of all of its natural oils, um, you know, natural moisture. Now for um, like, uh, I guess exfoliators, yeah. So I've got my Clarisonic here, which I did finally start using again. Um, if you guys remember, I had mentioned that I had stopped using it. I stopped using it for about eight months, and I just wanted to see how my natural oils would work without any help from the Clarisonic. And I wanted to see also if there was going to be a difference, because I used it for a long time, like a couple of years, and then I wanted to just kind of stop and kind of like see if there was a difference and see if it really made a difference, basically. And I do think it, it does. It does make a difference. It makes my skin really soft, so I went back to using it. And I also noticed that like little tiny bumps that I would get like like around my temples or like on the forehead, like that really, the exfoliation really is important to kind of clear that up. Um, also for exfoliation, this is like my favorite exfoliator I think I've ever discovered. And this is the Acure Brightening Facial Scrub for all skin types. It's um, I have the box here because I always like to keep the boxes just kind of, you know, keep up on the ingredients to let you guys know like what's in it. Um, I will read off all the ingredients, but it does have some really awesome ingredients. But it's basically, um, let's see, organic sea, sea kelp, which exfoliates your skin, French green clay, organic lemon peel, and those are just a few of the main ingredients in here. And I'll, I will tell you right now that it doesn't look pretty. It looks like well, like green sludge, like, <laughs> I mean, look at it. It doesn't look very pretty, but I tell you what, it is freaking amazing for like sloughing off dead skin, um, clearing up if you have like any flaky areas. Like I always get like flaky, like right around like my chin, kind of like jaw area. That's where I tend to dry out the most. And this really like helps slough all of that away and just leaves you with soft skin. And it's just the right kind of like medium um, like medium grit it's not like super fine and it's not like too coarse it's just it's just right in between so this is what I'm like like one of the products I'm like super super stoked um, on discovering and I just can't recommend that enough oh I should mention about the smell I guess also it smells like that really attracts me to it too it smells like really fresh but earthy at the same time and you know what it reminds me of is Kate Somerville Exfolicate if you've ever used that, it looks very similar, it feels very similar, um, and actually I think it smells kind of similar too. But uh, like the Kate Somerville is really, really expensive. I think it would be like probably like $85 for like a full size. I used to get the little ones that was like little deluxe sample size for $20. And instead of that, you can get this whole thing for less than $20. It's like, I don't know, I usually get it on sale for like around $16. So. Yeah, and how often to exfoliate? I basically use this every other morning in place of a cleanser. So instead of using this um, certain mornings, I'll just alternate and use this, you know, once every other morning. For toner, I'm, I'm kind of particular about that because a lot of toners have alcohol, whether they're natural or not, they, they just do. Um, alcohol just tends to be a part of toners a lot of times. So I always look for alcohol-free. And what I mean by alcohol is there's all different kinds of alcohol. Some are good and some are just drying, to, they can be too harsh for your skin. Like the SD40 alcohol, like that kind of alcohol, it just, 
it's um, it's a little too much for my skin. I can definitely attest to that. So I like witch hazel, but you want to make sure you find the alcohol free, or at least that's what I look for. So this is alcohol free. Um, it's by the Homestead Company, and I have two here just because, well, I don't know. I, it came about because I was testing out different products, and they're basically the exact same thing, except they have different essential oils in them. So um, like the, it's witch hazel, aloe vera, um, this one is the PM one. One's for AM, one's for PM. So the PM one has the lavender, the chamomile, uh, and then the AM one has the orange, the sweet orange, and the eucalyptus. So I just, I go by what they say, you know, like I'll, I'll use this one in the morning and that one at night. Something with the toners is sometimes they'll contain glycerin, a lot of toners do, and that, that's made to kind of put the moisture back into your skin, sort of seal in the moisture, but I, I found that just like I don't really care for, you know, alcohol, like the SD40 alcohols in my products, I also don't like too much glycerin, because I feel like too much of either one can kind of throw your skin out of balance. So um, that's something else is I sort of, I, I watch out for the glycerin too, because too much of it, it, I can feel it on my skin, it almost feels like a little bit tacky. So that's something to keep in mind too. And then for like serums and moisturizers, I pretty much just use like facial serums as my moisturizer, because I don't really care for creams. I found them to be too much for my skin, like too heavy usually. So I, I've just been using my oils and this. I'll show you this first and I'll show you the oils I like to use. Actually, this this is oils. It's just, I mean, you know, like pre-mixed and ready to go there for you. Um, so it's got like safflower seed oil, um, sesame seed oil, pumpkin seed oil, borage oil, argan oil, sweet orange oil, cranberry seed oil, lavender, and ol olive oil and rosemary oil. So there's the list of what's in here for you. And it actually is a fantastic oil. It smells amazing. That's due to the sweet orange. It kind of has that, you know, that fresh kind of citrusy, uh, just a delightful scent. Um, but the borage oil especially is a good one for helping to reduce pigmentation. Like if, if you're like me and you have like, you know, post acne scarring, which I have really bad um, from years of cystic acne, like right around this area on both of my cheeks and then kind of like up onto my temples a little bit. So not only do I have, you know, like the discoloration from that, the uneven skin tone in that way, but I also have the uneven texture, which really sucks. But you know, between the exfoliation and, um, you know, using products that help with the discoloration, it really helps kind of smooth things over and kind of get your skin back to a more even tone. So I have found that this is an awesome um, serum slash moisturizer for kind of helping things. And I actually have a spot, which I'm with, okay, I'm not even sure like which side it is now because it's faded a bit. I think it was on the, wait, this side, I think. Um, I had like a little pigmentation spot, like a darker spot, um, not a scar or anything, just a, a regular kind of like sunspot. I had it for years and I started using this and it actually started like lightening up. So that's, that's really amazing. So I'm super stoked on that. And that again is the Seriously Firming Facial Serum from Acure. And let's see, it says, it's a treatment for all skin types, reduces fine lines, imperfections, and fade scars. It's the fading scars part that drew me to that. Um, and then I will alternate because I like to use that at night. And in the morning I will use like one of my other like oil kind of combos, which are a little bit lighter weight. I don't like to use this during the daytime because it can be a little bit oily. So that's why I like to use it at night. And then instead I will use one of these, or well, one of my oil sets um, in the daytime because it's more lighter weight and you can't really, it doesn't make you look oily, you know? So um, one of my favorite um, uh, carrier oils is rosehip seed oil. So it's very lightweight, it soaks in pretty quickly, and I just find that um, I've just been really, really happy with how it's been treating my skin and how it kind of has helped to heal um, you know, my skin overall. And then I'll, I will mix it with an essential oil. So that's my carrier oil, and then I'll mix it with like two drops of you know, like my Desert Essence organic lavender and tea tree oil, which that combo is like my go-to. That's pretty much like my, my favorite oil combination uh, for my skin type. So if you have like oily combination skin or acne prone skin, this is a great combo, especially with the lavender and tea tree oil I've found. I should mention, I guess, why I particularly like the lavender and uh, tea tree. It's because it reduces redness. It like, 
it really, really takes the redness out of any, like, um, you know, I guess red areas of your face or if you have any, like, breakouts or something going on, it really pulls that redness out of it and kind of, like, evens your color back up again. Um, it also helps dry up any breakouts if you have those. The tea tree oil is awesome for that. And then for eye cream, I actually switched between two products and one I was kind of testing out and it's actually good for anywhere on your face, but I'll tell you about that in a moment here. This is the Acure eye cream with Superfruit and Chlorella and it is the only like true like cream texture product that I ever use on my face. Um, so I'll just take like, I should mention this, it has a very subtle kind of fresh scent, it smells nice. So I'll just take like a Q-tip and just dab a tiny bit and just touch that under my eyes and I'll just take my ring finger and just delicately like pat that in. Just back and forth until it's completely um, you know, absorbed in and I find that that is just a really lovely eye cream to use and it's not too much. You know, certain eye creams can be a little too heavy under the eyes and then you can end up with like little tiny, tiny bumps, you know, whatever they call that, Nelia or something like that. Yeah, ooh, ooh, we don't like that, no. Now, if you're looking for a spot treatment for fine lines or scars, this might be one that you want to check out. This is the Acure Line Eraser with Argan Oil and Starflower, and it's specifically for facial lines and scar therapy. It was really the scar therapy that drew me to this product. Because you know, I'm always always working to kind of like heal and kind of smooth over those, um, those old cystic acne scars. So it just comes in a little glass jar, and it is... Um, it's kind of like a, I don't want to say a gel consistency, it's, it's oils. So it's like solidified oils basically, almost like a balm. Um, so I'll just take a little Q-tip and I'll just dab that out and I will put it either like around kind of like out here under my eyes where you might have, um, you know, crow's feet or any like fine lines that you don't want forming. Um, it can work like around if you have like, um, you know, lines around your mouth at all or you know from the nose to the mouth and also for scar therapy of course if you have any spots discolorations um, anything that you're kind of trying to smooth and soften uh, so that is definitely a, a fun kind of spot treatment to try out and i've i've been really happy with it so far now this video would not be complete if i didn't mention my masks and my favorite facial masks by far are clay masks and i like to mix my own at home so i'll just get the powder like this this is the moroccan red clay powder by now and i purchased this at my local health food store um, it's only like four or five dollars out here i can imagine it's probably even less on the mainland but it is an amazing mask pulls out all that dirt that oil and just leaves your face feeling clean and fresh and makes your skin just feel firmer and it's just overall just an amazing product. I just, I cannot say enough good things about it. So how I like to mix my mask, cause you can just follow directions and mix it with just plain water or um, I like to kind of mix it up a bit with my, like a toner, like my witch hazel toner, um, just in place of water or raw apple cider vinegar, like Bragg's apple cider vinegar. That works really well too. And I'll just take like one or two drops of whatever essential oil that I feel like using that day, you know, maybe lavender and tea tree or whatever it is, just take like two tiny drops in one facial mask and it, it just does wonders. It really helps reduce redness, tightens those pores, and just leaves your face feeling clean and smooth and just so soft. So this one is my favorite one here, but there are other clays out there. So there's like this one, which I purchased on Vitacost. This is the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. And I think this is made with, um, or I think it is bentonite clay, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so it's the green clay. So both of these are green clay here. This is um, by Now Brands. This is the European um, green clay. So either one, um, those are good too. They are a little more difficult to wash off compared to um, the red Moroccan clay. So it's it's up to you which one you like, but they, they all do an awesome job of tightening, kind of, you know, pulling that dirt and oil and gunk out of your pores and just tightening everything up and firming your skin, leaving it soft and fresh. I get really, really excited talking about skincare just because I feel like, you know, a foundation is fun and all. And, you know, I love, I love my makeup, but Good skincare is really the best foundation. I've, I've always said that. So I hope that you guys found this helpful. Hopefully you got some ideas, maybe products, like natural products that you're interested in checking out. And all of these are like top notch that I have been using for a few months now. And I'm just super stoked on every single one of these items that I mentioned. So I think I will let you go now. I will stop talking and I will see you in the next video. Bye.